Moving to San Francisco, part two, San Francisco Neighborhood Guide. Uh, drone shots, roll the intro. So I've decided to move to San Francisco proper. The question is now where in San Francisco I want to live. So today I'm going to walk you through three popular districts in San Francisco. And we'll talk about everything you need to know if you're thinking about living here. Uh, stuff like crime, walkability score, and obviously housing costs. Alright, let's do it. The three districts that we are going to check out today are going to be the Mission District, Lower Pacific Heights, and Hayes Valley. Let's start with Hayes Valley first. Let's talk housing prices in Hayes Valley. A one bedroom on average in Hayes Valley goes for 3550 uh, now that's according to Zumper.com. I did do my own individual research on Craigslist. It was about 2,833. Uh, it's important also to note that we did find 36 listings that were $2,600 or under. So next I want to talk about access to public transportation in Hayes Valley. You're close to a Muni and BART station at Civic Center. Uh, and you also have the 21 bus line running right through Hayes Valley. Let's talk walkability of Hayes Valley. According to walkscore.com, Hayes Valley has a score of 97, which is actually the 16th most walkable neighborhood in San Francisco, which is crazy. If you don't want to use a car to do your normal errands, you don't really need to. The walk score says that Hayes Valley has 27 bars, restaurants, coffee shops within a five minute walk. So you got a lot of options. So one other important category to consider when moving to a San Francisco neighborhood is crime. Crime in, in Hayes Valley is, is not that bad, actually. Uh, personal crime is slightly under the average uh, for San Francisco, um, but property crime is quite a bit higher. So make sure you lock your cars and hide all your valuables. Hayes Valley is easily one of the trendiest areas in San Francisco right now. There's tons of new shops and restaurants opening up. Daily. It's a really popular area, really lively area that has easy access to the rest of the city. If you need to get out of the city, you're really close to 101 as well. But with that popularity um, comes a price. Uh, it's pretty expensive right now and it's honestly only getting more expensive. Alright, so let's talk housing prices of Lower Pacific Heights. One bedroom on average goes for $3,630. That's according to Zumper.com. On Craigslist, through my own research, um, that a one bedroom apartment went for around $2,980. Did also find 30 listings that were $2,600 or under. So a little bit of variety there. All right, so let's talk access to public transportation in Lower Pacific Heights. All different bus lines going through. You have the three, the one, the 22, and the 24, and the 24. You have a couple options, but it's not the best. It's definitely not the best access to the public transportation. All right, so let's talk walkability score. Got a 97 on walkscore.com, which is the classification, again, of a walker's paradise. Maybe a little bit of a theme here in San Francisco. There are around 18 coffee shops, bars, restaurants within a five minute walk of wherever you are on Lower Pacific Heights. So you got a lot of options, a lot of cool spots to check out. All right, so let's talk crime in Lower Pacific Heights. On average, a little bit less crime than a lot of neighborhoods in San Francisco. Personal crime is lower, property crime is a little bit higher. Overall, Lower Pacific Heights is a relatively safe, centrally located neighborhood located right below the ultra-rich Pacific Heights and right above Japantown. Upper Fillmore is probably the highlight of this neighborhood, boasting tons of coffee shops, restaurants, bars, and really good ice cream. You have Salt and Straw and Smitten both a block from each other. Lower Pacific Heights is a fun place to live if you want to be close to the action, but not so close to the action that it keeps you up all night. All right, so we are now in the Mission District and I want to talk housing prices. 
one bedroom on average goes for 3,450. Uh, that's according to Zumper.com. My own independent research found that on Craigslist, the average price of a one bedroom was just over 3,000. Also important to note that I did find 36 listings on Craigslist that were $2,600 or under. So there is quite a bit of variety there. All right, so let's talk access to public transportation in the mission. It's not a problem. You have two big BART stations, one at 16th and one at 24th and you have tons of bus lines walking through here. If you don't want to have a car, you really don't need one. There's tons of transportation here. So let's talk walkability of the Mission District. So it's got a 97 walk score. So classified again as a walker's paradise. The other really awesome thing is that uh, there's on average about 34 restaurants, bars, coffee shops within a five minute walk of wherever you're at. So super walkable. Let's talk crime. The Mission District is quite a bit larger than the other two areas that we were at. The crime in the Mission is worse. Personal crime is quite a bit higher than the average as well as property crime. Just be aware of that if you're thinking about living here. That's not to say that there aren't really great areas, but I think there's also some kind of sketchy areas. Let's just say there's a fair number of areas where I wouldn't want my girlfriend walking alone. Beyonce. The Mission District is one of the few areas in San Francisco that's blessed with regular sun. A neighborhood that can often be broken up into multiple neighborhoods. The word gentrification is often thrown around when people talk about the Mission. But overall, the Mission has diversity and culture that is very much alive. It's got some of the best food, nightlife, and coffee scene around. So the mission is definitely a place worth checking out. All right, that's it for the vlog this week. Uh, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Hopefully this, this episode provided a little bit of value. Stick around for next week also, and I'll let you see what I actually ended up getting here in San Francisco. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.